Hello and welcome to Finch Plays FIFA 16 with Palermo in career mode. Oh boy, we are down to the wire of Serie A at the moment. Um, we've only got three games left uh, to make sure we secure these European places. Top three gets into the Champions League, four and five get into the Europa League. I'm looking at the Europa League. I'm thinking unless Lazio really, really, really fuck up and we really, really, really nail it, there's just no chance in hell that we're going to get there. Um, so at the moment, you know, it's basically just a keep consistency, keep going, secure that spot. Do not lose consistently on the bounce because then Napoli going to take our spot and I'm going to cry. Um, it's the 1st of May, so I, uh, we could have a look at our youth academy, I think. We've got this lad, Fabrizio Cordoba, who came in. He looks pretty ace, to be honest. I mean, he's a, he's a fullback, which is not necessarily the, the greatest position of import, I guess, but... You know, he's got a bit of pace on him, a bit of stamina, a bit of jump, a bit of strength. Physically, he's pretty strong. And I think if he's fast, I can make it work. Look at Cotel. He's got no technical stats whatsoever, but he's got pace on him. And that works for me. So that's definitely uh, someone that we could probably have a look at. Um, this lad, Salzano, who was cited as pretty good. A uh, wide player. His finishing was pretty decent, which led me to believe that he could possibly be a striker. But what I'm seeing here suggests otherwise. Um... Parente is another kind of defender, but he's slow. And there's just not much anywhere going for him, really. Um, I'm thinking what we might do is if he grows when he's 17, we might be able to play him in a centre-back role instead, which could be good. Sommer, again, I, I don't know what to do with him. He's 55 rated at 17. I don't see him coming into the squad very much at all. Uh, Masucci, obviously our lad who we're pouring a bit of training into, is doing really, really well. And Schultz as well, our goalkeeper. His potential has dropped off, and I don't know why, because he looks as though he'll be really, really good. But um, he's 71 rated now, 16 years of age. When he hits 17 and his, like, his height bumps up to maybe 6'2", 6'3", or something like that, then I will nip him out of the academy and probably start to weave him into first-team action. However... Our first game of the episode, let's have a look at our squad, we're looking fine. Our first game of the episode is going to be up against Sampdoria. Let's see if we can keep, well, I was going to say keep our form up, but capitalise on the win that we had at the end of the last episode. So here we are, the Stadio Glasgow at home with Palermo against Sampdoria. Uh, I think we had a bit of a rough one against Sampdoria the last time we played them. I seem to recall a bit of snow, but... Um, I think that we, we could definitely pull something out here. I mean, it's raining, and as I say, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stop saying that that's a negative for us because we, we do tend to do okay, I guess, in the rain. Um, this lad here, Hilliamark, has been so crucial for us. And here comes Mascaro. Oh, man. If he can get into good spots like that and we can find passes, we're going to be just fine. Which means we're going to... Throw it out towards Giardino. He's going to take it beautifully, get tackled, and then Hilliamart's going to take it. And is he on side? He is because this defender was so far back. Giardino! Oh my god. Mascaro. Go roll his man, get round. Mascaro feeds it through for Hilliamart, and he can't get through. The luck is evading me today. It's driving me bananas. A dare all of a sudden. Is through almost unchallenged here. Oh, and Muriel! Is that Muriel? Maybe. Someone. Who are you? Fucking thundering at us. Uh, Christa. Christodolopolopoflopodus takes the corner. Luckily, we managed to grab it. No offense to any Greek people out there. Oh, Hillymark. Storming forward. Let's do this. Let's not do this because Mascara has given it away in a horrible area. Catal manages to grab it through. He's going to send it forward towards Villalba. He's going to take it down beautifully. Give it to Yayalo. He's going to give it towards Lazar Ashraf, who's going to feed it forward for Villalba. He's going to run across. Give it to Hillymark. He's going to open up his body as he takes it there. Stops. Forks it through for Vasquez. Oh, Yayalo just doesn't even bother with that one. Vasquez is going to put it into a good area. No, he's not. Um, Mascaro does collect it, though, and turns his man. Does get caught out with it, but that's okay. Villalba. Oh, into a great area! And Mascaro couldn't quite finish it there. It was a great move. 
And Vasquez is going to give it to Hilliamart, but it was such an easy move to read. They're able to deal with it, and they're on the break again. I know this is the danger of playing with ultra-attacking, but Luis Muriel is no slouch whatsoever. He's coming towards us, tracking across. And now it's... Was that Eder on the side? I think he slipped as he, uh, as he went there, but unlucky for us. Um... But luckily, Gonzalez saves our blushes. We are on the, the kind of stroke of halftime. The, half, uh, the first half even has gone very, very fast. And, you know, Gilardino, that's a touch, apparently, from him. A touch so bad that it kicked it in front of him. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. It's a fucking embarrassment. A quite literal affront at the moment in the rain against Sampdoria. But uh, I guess there are positives to draw from it. We're not doing horrendously badly. We've, we've done worse before. Um... Definitely had some opportunities to score. Gilardino with the most obvious, and, you know, I'm going to have to figure out some way to punish him for that. Maybe dock his wages, who knows? Maybe dock my own wages, I think would probably be more fair. But, uh, yeah, let's see if we can actually bash some home in the second half. Oh. Great play from Villalba. Oh, that's a strike. He was being harried by the defender there. And in the rain, wasn't able to make it happen. It's a good chance for Villalba using his, uh, using his slightly more technical frame, shall we say, uh, to, to make good room there. And we might have a second chance with uh, our resident Swede, Hillymark, but he gets out-muscled. Coming forward, Correa. Luis Muriel gets muscled as well. And all of a sudden, we have a good bit of room, hopefully, to use. Oh, that's good. We'll send it out. And now Villalba could probably knock it through and dirt of it. What was that? Oh, wait, hold on. Referee is not pointing at the spot. Actually, what Dirdovich managed to do there was jump up and handball it. That is the extent of his use so far. Jesus H. <laughs> Gonzalez. I mean, whenever I tend to find myself being a bit more uh, conscientious of um, possession, I, I feel like I do a bit better, which is good. That's good from Chochev. And again, he's going to have a drill here. And again, Viviano just gets his hands on it. No fuss. No worries. Like it wasn't even there. So we're going to give it to Hillymark, who's been on good form recently. See if we can uh, do something useful. Oh, we almost do. Forcing the keeper to tip it over the bar there. Let's see where that one go. It's absolutely hammered. And it did dip just enough. It was probably going over. But the, uh, the keeper had to stand in there. Uh, Yayalo is actually going to take this. And it's going to be headed on and headed out. But Andelkovic, tell me that was not you that basically just pulled a defensive header at that end of the park. Of course it was, because Andelkovic is a useless old fool. But at the minute... Neither team looks convincing enough to really make anything happen. Um, if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Sampdoria at the moment. Because we're a feckin' embarrassment. Um, got a bit of room here for Mascaro to do something. Gets round his man really well. In towards the back and Villalba leaps above the opposition. And Mascaro, if I can celebrate with you, son, I would. Oh, my word. He leapt like an absolute salmon above the defender there and headed it in thunderously into the center of the net that's going to be Mascaro's first proper contribution to a game it's a great cross it's a great header it's 1-0 Palermo Mascaro still chasing stuff down hoping for a heavy touch in the rain but we are into injury time here they're looking knackered we're looking knackered can I have a football player that still has some stamina that'd be good uh, Mascaro Done really well today. He's going to go straight to Sorrentino. He's going to take his time. He's in no rush here. Hoof it up nice and far. Let me see if we can touch it on a bit. We can't, but surely we've run down the clock. Referee. Yes! The referee blows his whistle for full time there against Sampdoria. And it is 1-0 Palermo from a very unlikely header from... Uh, from Villalba there. Sorry, I forgot your name there. Hector Villalba. Um, it was a great header. We haven't had a great game, all things considered, but I'm glad that Mascaro has finally done something that I can put down on a piece of paper. You know, he's got an assist. 
Um, for a 16 year old, that's, you know, that's pretty decent. Um, I'm pretty content with him staying out on that wing and improving. Uh, that three points is going to be massive for us keeping ahead of Inter Milan at the moment. So uh, yeah, really, really chuffed with that. So here we are after that top-notch win. A um, couple of things have happened, seemingly. Uh, Gilardino is, you know, being quickly pursued by Jovetic and Higuain for the top spot, although he does still hold it by virtue of the first letter of his last name. Um, Juventus have been knocked off the top spot by Milan. Milan do have a game in hand, but even if Juventus win, they're still a point behind. So Serie A at the top, it's going to be fucking tight by the end of the season. Um, Juventus seemingly on a spell of bad form after uh, after losing to this, you know, far superior Palermo side. Um, for us at the moment, if we lose twice, we will finish in sixth. If we win or draw today, we will make it into Europe. I think, from what I can see. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we we gotta we gotta seriously do that. Inter have overtaken us at the moment. Um, so they are only a point ahead of us. So if we can keep the wins up and they maybe slip up, we can still finish in that fourth spot that I kind of really want to, to finish in. Fiorentina are not easy opponents to face whatsoever. Um, and I think Fiorentina is going to be our next game. And then the last game in the next episode that we have, I think, be against Hellas Verona. So, yeah, we're all over the shop at the moment. But... It looks like it could be positive. Everything's in place for it to be positive for us. I'd like Gilardino to get a few goals. I'd love to see him take the golden boot this season. Hopefully, he will be able to score some of his chances, uh, which he's been, you know, not want to do recently. Um, so yeah, let's dive in and see how we do in our beautiful away kit this time. So here we are at Fiorentina at the Stadio Clasico, looking to pick up some solid points here. We've got to make sure we stay consistent with points uh, to get ourselves into a good spot. I'd love to finish in fourth, but our main concern here today is picking up points so that we can secure the European spot. If we do manage to do that, then we will be in Europe next season, which is massive for Palermo, absolutely massive. So yeah, that's going to be our main focus today. Gilardino trying to get in there early. Let's see how we can do. Um, it's a bit of a shame, but there's probably better ways to cut in that I don't know about as well. Oh man, what a save from Sorrentino. What a stop from him. I was about to say that that's going to find its way in. A point blank volley and Sorrentino saves Babacar's volley with his breast, no less. Goodness gracious me, gets that right out. Blaszczykowski, the ex-Dortmund man, is going to take the corner. And Mascaro, wise beyond his years to see what's happening there. And he's going to send it forward for Gilardino. Is Gilardino going to get there? He almost did. Goodness gracious me. Uh, a story, David, a story, I believe. To Rodriguez, the fullback. Oh, that's a great interception from Vasquez. He's going to try and... Uh, nip his way through Yayalo actually in decent shooting position but it's a good save from their keeper there Yayalo doing well to make the room um, who's this I believe that's Pablo Mascaro who I've summoned from the back of the pack he's going to send it in and Hilliamark looking to get there ahead of the keeper but really it could have done better at the back post I feel and Delkovic finding the space and Villalba finding Gilardino. Maybe he's just winding down at the end of the season. That's how I like to view it. He's had chances. He's, he's you know, he's thought better of them, I guess. So the, uh, the half is starting to wind down now, I think. And uh, in case I didn't mention it before, nothing shy of frustrating in this half. Nothing's going on. I mean, I'm looking for a straight pass like that, and it, seem, uh, it seems to be a case of, yeah, I'd actually rather um, send it to you in an impossible area. Well, Alba again, choosing to show how good he is in the air, but uh, comes to nothing, and there is a bland first half against Fiorentina, but the positive of that is that we haven't conceded any goals, which is good. Uh, this man hasn't been able to fire one off yet. Hopefully it's only a matter of time. blaszczykowski has been contending well with Villalba, but let's see if we can nab some goals in the second half. I'm thinking Fiorentina are gonna buckle if we throw everything at them. 
because um, they don't seem to be particularly solid at the back because their players are all knackered. Um, so I'm going to put it on ultra attacking and see what happens. Might be a poor choice, but I'm hoping that we do okay. Sorrentino collects that nice and easy. Oh, but then number 11, what was that? What's happened there? Oh, I'm going to need to have a look at that again. I looked away thinking that that was just easily dealt with. Sorrentino throws it out to Gonzalez, who absolutely flaps at it. Stumbles over like an absolute tit. Gives it straight to their number 11, who hammers it in for 1-0. I cannot fucking believe that. I don't know whether the, the short pass and long pass stats affect how true it is to, you know, where you've sent it in terms of, like, the player that you've aimed at. Holy shit, uh, uh, Babakar hit the edge of the outside of the post there. Um, but I'm having a lot of bad luck with it at the moment. And uh, it might be a consideration that I have at the beginning of the, the next season with Palermo. I, w I will hopefully continue this into the next season um, if we manage to secure Europe. But, um, yeah, it might be something to look at because it's definitely, definitely doing my head in at the moment. Um, Chocha is going to nip that through for Gilardino, who should really, really be able to get a shot off there. And Hillymark should be able to fucking control the ball as well. We're in an awful spot at the moment. Fiorentina are being absolute bastards. And I just, I, I'm, I was frustrated at the end of the, uh, of the first half, as I say, because um, we hadn't really done much. And now we've conceded to uh, what I would call functional bullshit. Um, and now I, I, I don't seem to be able to leave my own half. So we'll see how we do. We'll see if we can uh, forge some sort of opportunity if Fiorentina fluff up. But at the moment, don't hold your breath. Uh, El Caturi is going to take this throw in to Hillymark. I felt this last time, I think, that we just get closed down. Like, they're really boss at closing down, but Lazar is going to have a shot there. Uh, it gets headed out. El Caturi is going to take it. I have no idea why he's decided that he wants to take the extra touch and then kick it upwards when it was actually a ground pass I asked for. Um, whoa, hold on a second here. That was a fucking pass back if I ever saw one. Hold on a second. What? <laughs> That's a fucking outrage. Well, Fiorentina are cheating bastards, um, without a doubt. And it unfortunately looks as though it's not going to go too well for us at the moment. Um, Gilardino's going to take this down expertly, send it into Lazar. He's going to try and cut in. Send it for Chochev, who's got a bit of room, and he sent it wide. The last kick of the game, I thought maybe he could curl it in, but it was always curling away from goal, and there it is. We've lost our second game of our uh, of our last few matches. That's really, really bad. I was really, really pissed because we shouldn't have lost that. Absolutely shouldn't have lost that. This was our chance. This was our absolute chance to get into Europe. And Ante Rebic was absolutely gifted a goal. Absolutely gifted. I'm, I'm fucking furious. It was a terrible performance. <sighs> well, here we are in the aftermath of that. Um... As I say, chiefly annoyed to be uh, to be doing that. But have a look at this. Palermo celebrate the chance to shine in the Euro League. We have got our spot in Europe next season. We will be able to hold fifth spot. Uh, if Inter manage to flap their chances, then we will finish in the fourth spot, hopefully, if we manage to capitalise. At the moment, I wouldn't hold our breath for that because we've been fucking atrocious. However... I'm super duper excited to be able to uh, to enter Europe next year. Uh, Champions League was always going to be a tough ask with the squad that we had, but I feel like we've done really, really well. So uh, yes, that's where I'm going to end the episode. Our last and final game of Serie A is going to be in the next episode. Make sure you uh, keep a tab on the videos and have a look for when that goes up because it's going to be a big one. Um, yes, so if you did enjoy the video, Please do leave me a like and a subscription. Leave me some comments as well. Tell me what you think I can do to improve. I will definitely need that kind of information ahead of next season. And I will catch you guys next time.